Aniko is with us. Aniko is in Bend, Oregon. Hi, Aniko. How are you? Hi. Um, it's Aniko. Aniko. Um, See, I screwed it up. I'm sorry. I was trying so hard. What's up? How can I help? It's so. It's okay. My joke is I'm either on or off. Ah. <laughs> okay. So I've got to tell you, you came into my life when my child was born 17 years ago. And I've been a pretty good kid. I'm 51 years old. And I was ready to retire. Um, had no debt. Had a house. And um, had left my ex-husband and my son set up to run a business that we started, which was a movie theater, and COVID hit and killed us because um, we still kind of function as a family um, divorced. I have a panic. I sold my house to take my equity to limp the theater along um, until all the COVID shutdown stopped, and my ex-husband did a nice thing and took over taking care of his elderly father and bought a home and went into construction and made money because he needed to make money. And I had money from equity to live on. And so all this got strained out. And the goal has always been to let our son take over this movie theater that has helped us down. That was closed for 25 years that we had refurbished and reopened after being closed for 25 years. It's a historic theater. Um, and I'm sitting here, and I'm hearing more about COVID stuff and the possibility of things closing again. And I was so close, Dave. I followed all of your steps. And um, currently, I don't have any debt except for the mortgage on the theater. And I can't get a bank to figure out how to do a mixed-use loan for $460,000 on a property that is tax-assessed at eight. $150,000. I don't know what to do. And I don't want to make the wrong decision for my son's future success. And I've got a your son's baby. future success is not defined by this theater. Okay. Your son's <laughs> future success is defined by the work ethic and the character that you have passed on to him while you worked on this theater and the example that you and your ex have set for your son. That's what his future success is going to be based on. If Ramsey Investments ends up worth, if Ramsey Investments, Ramsey Solutions ends up worth nothing tomorrow, um, my kids are going to be just fine because their future success is not based on the value of this company. Okay. So you need to sell this stupid theater. It's a chain around your neck. It's a dream that turned into a nightmare. That's what I heard. Did I miss yeah. something? No, I'm sorry. I'm crying. It's okay. You you've you've invested so much into this. It hurts. And when you turn the key on, when you turn the key on a dream that turned into a nightmare, and you walk away, which is what we're doing while we're talking right here, it hurts like crap. Your heart breaks because you yes. you've been heavily invested in this. Um, and that just makes you human, and it means you were all in. It means you gave it everything you had. Uh, hey, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't invent COVID. It didn't your, it didn't your fault. You got, you got right. screwed by a pandemic. Can you sell yeah. the stupid thing now? Um, I had an interested party for, um, the tax assessed value. Take it. And the, take it. Take it. So the, the money that I would make off of that was, I don't. I, I don't know what to do with that money. Well, you have four hundred thousand dollars in your pocket. Sounds to me like right. I will. Yeah, yeah. if I sell it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a smile on your face, and crap in your rearview mirror. <laughs> I'm literally sitting in my car right now at the dog park because <laughs> I, <laughs> I lost. Well, I gave up my dog's backyard because we moved. Yeah. I moved into this theater yeah. and. Yeah. It, so it, go get you go get you a life back. This thing took okay. everything from you. Now you take it back. Well, I appreciate that. You do what you want to do. If I woke up in your shoes, that's what I would do. I appreciate that. I got to look out for this town. I think you're a good mom, and I think you gave something your haul, and it's time to cut bait. Let this one go. Let this one go. Move on.
400,000 gives you a fresh new start. You're not tied into your ex. You and your son can, you, you can make a legacy for him. You're still young. You got plenty of things you can do here.